We are going to create an application that displays a list of programming languages using the recycler view. Let's delete this text. So we can see recycler view in the commonly used UI elements. Come over here and now once you drag and paste it, it will tell you that in order to use recycler view, you actually need to add a library. You can choose add it now. It's advised you have an internet connection. It might take some while. And for me, for some reason, my Android Studio appeared to have been frozen. So if you have that experience, don't panic. So we'll leave the ID of our recycler view as recycler view. We'll just leave it as that recycler view. So we have our recycler view here. So let's go to our main activity and get it. The recycler view is going to hold elements. So you have the first language, second language, third language. Those view holders will be working on a particular layout file. The layout file will specify what can be displayed in our recycler view. Let's just get to it. So I'll call this language item. So for this, I'll still make for this I can still make it a constraint layout. I can drag and drop a text view here. Drag it here up. I can say match constraint. I'll give it a text size of 20 SP. I'll just give it a text of language. So it will change as the application moves. I'll give it an ID of txt language. Then I can give it a constraint it in the bottom now i will give the whole layout a height of wrap content this will be used to display each language so we don't need a layout as big as the screen we need it to be small enough and just enough to contain what needs to be displayed that is why I gave the whole layout wrap content. Wrap content is, of course, wrapping the content. So now that we have a recycler view, we need the adapter class. This is where the whole magic is going to be happening. So let's create a new Java class. I'll call it adapter. Oh, let's call it language adapter, language adapter. So inside this language adapter class, let us create our view holder class, class view holder. It extends recycler view dot view holder. Course, it's red because it needs me to create the constructor. Let's reference the text view here, which is txt language. Now we want to reference the view. We can't just say find view by ID. This view holder is going to be used to create multiple view holder objects. Now each of these view holder objects we we'll all have this txt language. So you will have multiple languages displayed. All of them are created by creating new instances of this view holder. So I'm going to say that particular view dot find view by ID. I'm finding the view by ID on this particular view holder the id dot 
txt language that's all we need to do normally you could have other elements here you can have a text view an image other text views but for this example we're keeping it basic now we have our view holder we can close this now our language adapter is going to extend a circular view dot adapter and you can see it needs a view holder so which view holder are we going to pass in here dot language view holder because we have extended recycler view adapter we need to implement the needed methods for our recycler view so i can just click implement methods so you see on create view holder on bind view holder get item count we would work on all this this is where we normally inflate our layout from the xml and we would return the view holder what we do here is to get the context from the view group then we get our layout inflator from the context then we inflate this layout using our language item layout remember our language item layout tells us how the view holder is going to display each item in this case it has just one text view and it's going to display the language the programming language using just that text view so we create a new view holder by passing this view remember that our view holder needs a view and it's this view that is passed in here then from the view we we'll find the particular text view of that view that we just created so multiple view holders are going to be created and then we'll find the particular text views of those view holders after all is done we we'll return the view holder that is how we create a new view holder then on bind view holder is where we specify what to display for a particular view holder depending on the position of that view holder before that let's create a constructor for language adapter let's go back to main activity i want to have an array that will hold the programming languages i will pass into this recycler view adapter this is going to be my array that holds a list of languages let's go back to our language adapter let's create a local variable so that i pass in the array when i'm creating the language adapter so as the view holder is being created this position will keep changing so you get the current language from this array as the position is changing i can save that value in this string now for this current view holder in this current position what i'm going to say is that current view holder get me the txt language of that current view holder and set the text of that current view holder to be this current language Now for get item count, this needs the number of results we're actually working with. So because we're just working with M languages array, I'll simply say M languages dot length. Now let's go to main activity and create a new language adapter. So I'll say language adapter. The constructor needs an array. I'll pass in languages. So now that we have an adapter, how do we tell this recycler view to use this adapter? I'll simply say recycler view dot set adapter language adapter. Now we need a layout manager. I'll say recycler view dot set layout manager, and we use the default new linear layout manager. Let's run this application and see what's up. You can see that we have a bunch of languages displayed in our recycler view. 
have Python, C++, Kotlin, Swift, Scala, Java, PHP, Go. Now you might want to add a decoration such as a line to separate them. We can easily do that. So we create a new item decorator and then add the decorator to the recycler view. There you have it. Now our languages are separated. But when we click it, nothing happens. What if you want to perform an action when each item is clicked? So we can set a click listener on the view holders. We'll go to the language adapter. I got it. So what we want to do now is to implement a click listener. So we'll come over here and we implement a view on click listener. Let's implement the on click method. So for each view holder, that is clicked. We want to find the text view using find view by ID. But of course, we will have to use the view dot find view by ID. Next, we get the context using the same view. And then we get the text. Then display it as a toast. Now that we have that, we need to tell the view holder to set its click listener. So it's going to use the click listener that we implemented in this class. So we can run this. Then test it. What we expect is to click and see the toast message. When I click Python, you see Python. The Kotlin, you see Kotlin. You to get the text from that text view and display it as a toast. Isn't that cool?